Hello everyone and welcome to ETCB 511, Learning Technologies in the Digital Age. My name is Chris Johnson and I'm your instructor for this course. Now, during the course, there's two ways that you can get in touch with me. One is to email me at cgj at email.arizona.edu or you're welcome to text or call me at 520-991-7304. Now, if you do call, I'd appreciate if the call was between, say, 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., uh, and you can even call on the weekends. If I'm not available, uh, you'll go to voicemail, and I'll make sure that I get back to you. So, let's take a look at what you're going to be learning in this course. The purpose of the course is to introduce you to a set of basic digital tools that you can use to facilitate your teaching and also your students' learning. During the course, you're going to learn how to create a professional digital self. We'll then explore how you can organize information visually, share your thoughts with others, reflect on using digital tools, and create a digital story. One hint on surviving an accelerated course. Make sure that you don't get behind. We've gone to this new format to allow you to focus on one course per seven and a half weeks. And so you'll be putting in as much time as you would taking two courses in a semester, which many of you do, but you'll be focusing just on this class. So please keep in mind that it's important to keep in touch with me if you have any issues in terms of completing assignments. Now, during the course of the semester, I'll be holding a series of online meetings. These meetings will be on Wednesdays from 6.30 to 7 p.m. Arizona time. And our first meeting will be Wednesday, August the 30th, and I'll send out a reminder of that. Now, the purpose of the meeting is to answer any questions that you might have and summarize the week's assignments. So you'll notice that the meetings are on Wednesday, and the due dates are the following day on Thursday. And this is to give you the chance that if you have any final questions on an assignment, we can talk about it Wednesday night and then you can hand in your assignment on Thursday. There are two ways to attend the meeting. The first is to attend the meeting live in Adobe Connect. I'll talk about that in just a second. The second is to review a recording of the meeting and post a brief summary and any questions that you might have. Now, for those of you who are new to the program, we use an online meeting tool called Adobe Connect, and you can access this through UA Tools and Adobe Connect. Once you select the Adobe Connect, you'll be taken to the online meetings room, and you'll click on Join to join the meeting. So Wednesday, you'll come in, hopefully five, 10 minutes before the meeting time, click on Join, and it will take you to the meeting. Also, this is where you'll come if you want to review a recording of the meeting. Now, I won't be using the office hours, but I do want to point out the study groups. If you want to meet with your colleagues in this class or anyone else, you can set up your own meetings in the study groups. When you click join, you'll be taken to my meeting and my lobby. When you're there, you're going to want to make sure that you go to Meeting and Audio Setup Wizard to check your mic and headphones. And please remember, it is best to have headphones. Using a speaker and a microphone can cause feedback during the class. So when you click on Meeting, you'll see the Audio Setup Wizard. You just select that and it will run you through checking out your headphones and your microphone. So let's spend a little time reviewing the modules in this course. The first one is creating a professional digital self. In this module, you'll use a web creation tool of your choice to create a professional web presence. You'll also establish a LinkedIn presence, which is similar to Facebook, but on a professional side, and also explore Twitter. Now I will warn everyone, people either love Twitter or they hate it, and that's okay. When you reflect on your experience with Twitter, Tell me what you felt. You'll also use your professional website to document the work that you do in the remainder of the course. In the next module, we'll explore how you can visually organize information, either for yourself 
or use this with your students as an alternative assessment. We use something called concept mapping and you will explore a concept mapping tool. Then we'll look at curating and sharing knowledge. If you're like me, it's like this cat. You have information, you know it's there somewhere, you just don't know where it is. So we'll look at a social bookmarking tool where you can organize or curate, which is basically organize it and decide on its value and share that knowledge with others. Next, we'll look at how you and your students can share your thoughts with others through blogging. You'll then examine a specific digital tool and evaluate it for its use in your teaching. You'll look at the pluses and minuses of the tool and reflect on how you might integrate that tool into your teaching. This will introduce you to how you can analyze the vast variety of digital tools that are out there and integrate them into your teaching. Your final major assignment will be digital storytelling, in which you'll explore how you can use the powerful new video tools that are available on the web to allow your students to tell their stories or for you to create instruction. Then at the end of the class, I'll ask you to spend a little bit of time reflecting on your own learning and also ask you to help me improve the course. So that's it for this brief overview of ETCV 511. So remember, it is an accelerated format, so make sure that you're in contact with me if you have any issues. I look forward to working with you all during this first seven and a half weeks of our fall semester.